Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. What is that? Recipe Graphene Advanced. Well, so square plastic. Uh, it's, it's actually square plastic. So, the, those white squares. Is that actually plastic? Here I've got sulfuric acid. Chemical facility gathered from a sulfuric acid ocean. I don't have any of those in this solar system. So I can't do that. I need to make this stuff. So i got to make sulfuric acid. That is actually something that I'm going to have to do. So sulfuric acid, we have to make that. I need refined oil. I need stone. And I need water. And that combines together to make sulfuric acid. And then I'll be able to use that to make graphene. Which we will need for solar sails. And I, mean, I don't need it for these, but I'm going to need some of those anyway. Plastic over here. I'm going to need more refined oil and energetic graphene to go and make plastic, which we can then use to make organic crystals, among other things. Do I need more of that plastic? I don't think I do. Right, what's that? Oh, fire ice. Right, rare ore has cage-like macrostructure, so that's fire ice. I don't even know where to get fire ice from. Titanium here, we add organic crystals. See, we've got, like, you can get the organic crystals right there, and you can use the trees and the plants, but there doesn't seem to be an automated way of gathering trees and plants. There's just kind of like an extra thing that you chuck them down every now and then. But generally, there doesn't seem to be much use for them. Now, over this way, I've got everything running through here as rapidly as I possibly can. My hold up on this entire system right here. The energetic graphite is fine. All right, we're using that in those facilities. But what's not fine is the hydrogen coming from over here. I'm not getting through the hydrogen fast enough. So we're going to go over this way and we're going to have a look and see what's going on. This is 2.24 per second, a crude oil seep. That's running out as rapidly as it possibly can. And then it's just kind of sat and wait. This one is completely full, so I've got plenty of oil in there. What I don't have is enough of these working. I need more of those, and I want more of them as well. So I kind of want to add a bit more of that kind of whole procedure out over that way, and then get more of them working, and maybe even get another oil seep and start doing some work with that. And then I'm also going to want to pretty much double up this one here and send that out that way maybe. Something like that, so that I've got more hydrogen coming in and then I've got a whole load of processes where I'm going to need the light oil anyway there's, there's no rest for the wicked in this game is there? Right, well we first up let's get a storage parked up down here we'll just pop you, you know what actually I've got a better idea let's get rid of you and we'll go and take you and we'll put you down over here right so I've got that storage right there now if I just drop that one down I get soil. I don't get... Well, I've got no room to put any of those other bits. And I'll drop all of that titanium right in there. That's one full stack. I'm going to keep two stacks of those on me so that I can use them for other things. And then we're going to focus on the oil here. Now, I do actually need to go and get a bit of iron. I went and dumped all of the iron I was carrying. I have an iron storage just down there. Two, three, four, five. We'll get 500 iron like that. I've got steel there. I'm going to get a little tiny bit more steel. I'll get one of those. I'm going to go over here and a thousand of those in a stack. I feel a thousand of those is pretty good. I can go with a thousand. And then I'm going to go over this way. I'm going to go to environment modification and I'm going to take the lay the foundation without decoration. 
and I'm going to pop that down in there but then what we're going to do is we're going to sort of start filling up some of these little hollows here like this and just try and get as much of this going on as we can and bring that out over this way right I got a hundred K on a soil pile if I dump that down there I'm using some big chunks of this old soil pile that we've got. I don't care so much about the foundation. That will just fill up later. I do like that I'm not required to put foundation down everywhere over the ocean in order to make this fit. That does actually seem pretty good. We'll get 2,000 soil pile if I drop that in there. I like that as well. So we don't want to fill all of the ocean in, because otherwise we're not going to be able to extract the water. So despite the fact that we can, in theory, like I can just do that and chuck down... We've got loads of these now. I don't need to be too careful with these. Put down a bit in there and there like that. Research complete. You can now use the ray receiver to receive high energy rays transmitted from the Dyson Sphere and output the received energy directly to the power grid. I haven't built anything on the Dyson Sphere yet. That's kind of what we're gearing up towards now. I've got a bit more of a platform here so that we are able to build some more of them. I'm going to want... I'm going to want a lot of these because I want several here. And then I'm going to... Actually, I'm just thinking that line could come along this way. If we can do stone extraction like either side of it, I can just bring that line this way. I've got all of that oil in there. Uh, right, let's just okay that one. Uh, it's going to be the best way to do this. That oil there is going to be right in the way, isn't it? Because I'm kind of like... I'm, I'm progressing that way with this. All right, let's, let's see if we can do it. I need to try to move that oil tank. That's going to be my first thing to do. Let's see if we can move the oil tank without losing all of the oil that we've got in there. That would be a little bit of a disaster. I don't want to lose that oil. I want to keep it. So I've got storage here. I've got no storage tanks at the moment. Let's have a look into buildings, storage tank right there. I can produce 17 of them. I'm going to make uh, five, I think. There, that's going to give me eight of these all together. I don't know how tall I can stack them. Let's have a look. One. I can only go three high. Right, well, then I'm going to want one more than that because then that will give me three perfect stacks. So let's go into there and boom, 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 boom. Make one more of them. Right. So then I can put this one here. One, two, three, like that. And then I'll wait a minute. So first up, we're going to... Well, I, I do want the things to, like, keep working at the moment. So, first what I'll do is if I go to these belts. Yeah, I don't want to start on there. I want to go here, like this. i go to the belt, and I'll bring that over, and I'll drop that into there, like that. Right, so that will go in there. And then I will get rid of that belt. And then I will get rid of that belt over there like that. So that's bypassing and it's just going in through there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that belt and I'm going to bring that one over to here like that. I want to put it in there. That's actually in the wrong place for me to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to go up over the belt fast enough to do it. So what we need to do instead then is i got to remove Dismantle, 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 like that. The way that belt comes out and round. Yeah, I, I didn't have any choice for how I did that one, did I? Or if I can make that work a little bit better. 
I can make that work a little bit better. We can make that run work just a little bit more efficiently over here, I think. If I get rid of that belt. And I pull that out and that out there. And I have that one. Yeah, see where that end point is right there, it's not quite right on there. Although it I could do that. Right, well that works, but that's gonna that's in too tight. That won't actually connect in there. If I take you out, you're in just a fraction too tight on there. But I can click you in, I can like move you over a little tiny bit. This one here needs to just be over by one more space. I think that's where we've gone wrong. It's coming out on the left hand, on the right hand side there. He should be coming out here. So this here, it's too close. That belt is in slightly the wrong position for that. So if I then do that, and I have this belt, in that position there, over, back, and join in there like that. That's what we want to do. Then I can take that one and I can go onto here. Actually, I don't want to do that. Nope. Next thing that I got to do is I want to get rid of that completely. And then I want to go here, sorter, mark one, shift. Shift click like that to copy it. And then I can go from here out to there like that. And that's now putting the oil out onto that belt. And it's just back a little tiny bit. I got 38 on there. I can't take that and manually drop it in there. It won't let me do that. If I go in here, though, I can just dump that oil in there so that I can use it up. And it's not going to be in my way. Right, that's a good start. Then that's going to allow me to put these storage tanks in here is what I was after all along. I can put that one in there. Like that. And I go one up there. Perfect. That can come out of here and then travel across and join up. I can bring it out and up and join across over to here. But can I... See, this one here needs to be moved over by one. That's in the wrong spot. You over here, if I bring you out like that. Ooh. Right, well, you can go up to there. And then what you can do is you can reach over this side. Oh, you can actually drop straight into there like that. You will go straight up over and down into that belt in there. So that will work out perfectly, which means that then I can take the oil that's coming out of here. And instead of that having to go in this contorted fashion all the way up over there, travel in. I've got two of them coming out this side. But this bit, I can now get rid of this. That one I can get rid of back there. I want to go over here. Right. Get rid of that. That one up there. Over here. Very careful where I'm putting this. This big old X that I've got right here. There. Right. I've gotten rid of them. I want that belt over this way. That belt is... That's just... Oh, I see why... It, no. Done those out on each side. This one I did differently. No, I didn't. I just have it like that. Why have I got that like that even? Like, seriously, that, that makes no sense. Why have I got that like that? Let me pop that one out there and join that one in. And then here, I'm going to shift copy that one. I'm going to bring you... No, I don't want to do that. I want to go here... Shift copy that one. Tab to select there. Filter. And put that one out. Right, that's got a filter on it. That's all going correctly. So then I can get rid of that. 
and I can get rid of this belt up through here as well. I'm going to dismantle that bit of the conveyor belt here and here like that. Right, now that one's in the middle is, is going to be less of a problem. Not that I'm going to need to shunt that one around anymore, I don't think. And then you over here, we take that belt and we go here. Yeah, we literally just connect that in like that. Perfect. Now this one can start up again. He's got 40 that he had stuck in there. So that oil will work its way through into there and then it will come into this one. So it will build up in there first and it will then come over into that one and it will sort of keep going through. This one over this side, I'm going to bring you over and I want you to go into this point right here. Before we get into that point right there, we're going to want to bring you over this side. So you've got to go up. Why can't you turn? Oh, I see. i got to turn you around first and then I can go and do that. Put you to there. And then lower you down into there. Right, ideal. That will now empty out everything from that one, and then I will, you know, I can move this around a little bit, and we can extend this out. I want more of these refineries over this side as well. That's another thing that I'm going to do. So I'm thinking at the moment that I want eight of these in a big long line going in this direction. And then those over there, I've got four of them working on these three. I'm going to want, if I've got eight of these in a line doing this first kind of breakdown of the oil. Like if I go and have a look in here with the oil stuff that we've got. That comes straight from oil. That comes from other processes. So does that. Water, oil. There's only this one here, plasma refining, that actually processes the oil itself so we, we we don't have a lot of those so I think eight of those in a line along here and we'll just kind of replicate this and we'll have nine storage tanks of the oil and the hydrogen that's just kind of like an extra at the moment and maybe we'll get some more of them but I mean I don't really need nine of these tanks do I probably not We'll do it anyway, and then we can turn some of that oil into extra hydrogen while we kind of like build that up through there. So if I want eight of these, that means I need five more oil refineries, and then I'm going to go for, well I got four at the moment. I'm going to add that line, it's going to go all the way up along here, that stone might be in the way of my dreams all the way up through here, we'll see. Uh... 12, I'm going to have 12 of those in a big long line, which means I need another 8 of them and I need another 5 over here. So I want to build 13 of those oil refineries. My next oil, not oil extractor, oil refinery right there. I want to build 13. I have materials for 6. So I need to go and get some materials a minute. I've got those. I actually need more of them. Let's get some of those. I'm building them there in that facility right there that so I've got a few of those on me now oil refinery right there I can build 12 I said I wanted 13 I need a bit more stone I've actually run out of stone and the reason I've run out of stone is because I'm making this and I'm making it in there. Now, I've got several... I'm going to drop the rest of those in there. I've got several thousand of these. So I'm going to drop that right back down. Capacity for automation, like that. And we're going to stop. I'm not going to make any more of those. I'm just going to stop with the 3,000 that I've already got. Which means that I will make a few in here just to fill this one up. Uh, what do we actually use to make these? It's three stone and one steel. So, yeah, we do need quite a bit of stone to go in there. So, unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have any spare stone. But once that's sort of filled up a little bit in there, actually... Oh, no, I can't. You can't, like, 
drop the extras in. Uh, what I do have is I do have a bit here. So I can take a couple of stacks of stone there. And that should be enough. I've got the iron. I've got the other bits. I've got these oil refinery. Now I can make 24. Right. I said I wanted to make 13 of these. So there's 10. And I drop back down and do another three like that. And it's only two bits of those that I want to make. So I'll go in here a second and dump back. That stuff, I'll just keep that one little bit of a stack of stone in there. Don't worry about any more. Actually, you know what? We might be glad of some of that just for a minute. There. Drop that. I'll keep one full stack of that for a minute. Like that. And have a look in here. Okay, I'm still making those. Once I've got those 13, we'll then head over that way and we will start building this out. What we might want to do is find another oil sump. Where is the next nearest oil reserve? We've got one there. There's a crude oil seep right there. And there's another one over there. So I've got crude oil just here, which isn't very far. And there's another one over there. But that crude oil there is not actually all that far from where we're extracting at the moment. For another one that's nearer. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be. But I've got one over there, but that's that's a little way from us. There's this one here. And there's one here. I'm going round in a circle here a little bit. And there's one there behind the iron that we're pulling out. So I've got plenty of oil that I can get and start extracting if I need it, but I don't think I need to worry about that just yet. Have we? Well, I've got all of them now, haven't I? Yes, right. Okay, let's. Uh, we want to get rid of you. That one can go for a minute, and oh yeah, you've already right. You're, you're fine on there. Uh, yeah, let's start getting these out in the line, and then all the belt. Oh, have I got belts? I've just come back in to do some more recording. We have unlocked the structure matrix, one of the five source codes to keep the center brain simulating. Uploading this structure, the structure matrices to the center brain will give you clearer understanding of material structure. So we now have a brand new bit to go and make, which is going to make things probably more complicated. Uh, something that has been pointed out to me is that I don't need to be putting these on ramps and so on. You can actually run the belts right next to each other, and these will reach across three belts, I believe. I can have them out three belts wide if I want to, um, to place things down. So that's going to change how I set this bit up over here. That's that's really going to change how I set this up. I had no idea that you could do that. I really didn't. And I think it's absolutely wonderful. So we are going to attempt to build a brand new thing over here. I'm going to have my oil refinery right here. And I'm going to um, rotate that one around like that. And... I can have that close together. I don't need to have them spread out like those are over there. I may even dismantle that lot and move it. Or dismantle a couple of them. Uh, but to start off with, I'm going to do one, two, three, uh, four, and five. There's been a game update. And they said in the game update with the text when I first came in that power consumption has changed for everything. It may result in us not having enough power for our system. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. We've got a whole load of power over here with our solar panel 
array and then our accumulator field in there. Now at the moment it looks like we got enough. Consumption demand 27, 28, generation capacity 43. So it does look like we're doing all right with that. Now something that has been suggested by a number of you, which I think is actually a pretty good idea, is to find the North Pole. So let me find the North Pole a minute. Which is up there. We want to go this way. Well, not the North Pole necessarily. Find both poles. We want to find the poles. So let me go up this way a bit. And right, there it is. Find the poles and put a solar panel, uh, a solar panel, solar panel array on the pole. And then you get like a 24 hour. Um, constant supply of light because of the way that it spins round. And we set this up at both poles and the, we, we have masses and masses of light. So we've got one up here which is right there next to me. It's it's literally just down on there. So it's, it's sort of, well, right there. Uh, so if I was to just temporarily take a... Oh, there we go. Go into build mode and it tells me exactly where it is. So if I just dump that one down there a second to mark it out, we can head this way to go to the other pole. And we can go and find that. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whiz this way. She's going to have to go back through here. So those solar panels, we're going to keep those right where they are. I'm not going to change them. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go and get other solar panels from our supply. And I'm going to lay a whole load of these out. So I just want to go into there. Uh, we're going to take 100... I leave that five behind. 100, I'm going to aim to put 50 at each pole. That's the idea now. We're going to aim to put 50 of these bad boys at each pole. And then once I've done that, we will go back over and we'll carry on with setting up that oil. So I want to go up over this way. All roads re read, all roads lead to Rome. And you can see here all the circles moving in as we get to the pole. So this is where I want to be. So I'm going to... I want to remove that one. Wait, uh, X. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to remember how to play the game. Um, I want to go to there and I want to go to power. And we're going to... You know, I'm kind of thinking that... Actually, I don't have any accumulators, so uh, I, I can't really do that. I'm kind of thinking, uh, if I go with a wireless transmission tower, and I dump that one down there like that, that can be our first bit, and then we will start putting solar panels around the outside of this, too close to another power facility. So then I can just start dumping solar panels down. I'm just going to drop down here, and do this a minute. So we will start off by putting four of them in a circle around this one. There. So I can't put any there. I'll do another one out here. Extending that line. I'm probably going to need to see, I need foundation support, I'm, so I'm probably going to go and get some of those. So I don't think I've got any upgrade facilities. Uh, environment. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you'd like to help support the channel, then please check out the affiliated links in the description down below. There's one for Nitrado, who supply gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. There's also Fanatical, who sell a lot of different computer games. If you use the link and also that code in the description, you will actually get a small discount applied to you, and I earn a commission on anything you buy, so you are supporting me by supporting your own gaming habit. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, 
Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.